bar none, the hardest, most meaningful work that I've ever done in my life is to experience and be in my truth. So to live from a place of truth, to stop hiding and to actually speak my truth, feel my truth, experience my truth, and just be completely open to the experience of who I am moment to moment as it's constantly changing. So I call inner freedom, I I really see it as an art, you know, the art of inner freedom, because it is so easy. It is so easy to be, you know, to have an inner freedom, to be free to be who you are when you're in a place of comfort. You know, when you're feeling up, when you're feeling secure, when you're feeling comfortable, things are certain, it's, it's easy, right? But it is so difficult to experience inner freedom when you're not used to being in discomfort, when a moment of pain arrives and you're, you immediately run into your mind and your awareness condenses and you, you're going, why? Why can't I just be happy? Why is this happening to me? Why can't I find my way out? How do I, how do I get through this? And why, why, why? And always trying to get rid of what's going on in the moment because it's painful. It's uncomfortable. It's not how the mind perceives life and you how you should be. So inner freedom is truly an art and it's it's difficult work. But if you're truly going to come into a place of living from your truth, being in a place where you can speak your truth, even when your truth may not want to be heard, to have that kind of freedom it really is an art. And like anything in life, an art is something that we learn through practice, through experience, through expressing ourselves and through courage. So I want to encourage you to live in your own truth because it's, it's really where aliveness and truly being in love with who you are and experiencing the fullness and the beauty and the grace of life where it comes from. And I can only say this because I have a lot of experience of living not in my truth, many, many years of experience. So do the work, even if you have to do it again and again and again, if you fall flat on your face, you find yourself beating yourself up, you find yourself hiding, who cares? This is just your path. It's your way of finding your way through the rejection, through the self-hatred, through the discomfort with your discomfort, and you'll find your way. Trust that. 